All right, so here we are, another yakking with you, Jagoff. We are in the hallowed studios of the 96 One Freak Show with Bob, Mikey, and Big Bob. Well, so this is like where the magic happens, like the farting and you know, the, you're, you're feeling Bob up in your, <laughs> your garage in his face every morning. You know? uh, yeah, this is our place of business. This is where we work, yeah. It's not a very serious job, but there has to be a place for it. They you pay us the to come here, yeah, yeah, which is impressive. Well, there you go. Yeah, that's a good thing. Now, I brought a cake. I know you have... I, I was disappointed you don't have a break room where we could have cake. Oh, yeah. we don't need a break room. <laughs> <laughs> for for, for as much as, like... Either. For as much as cake in the break room, that, like, dumb little song we made became, like, such a thing, you would think we would have Ooh. a break room and get cake in the break yeah, room all yeah. the time. No, we don't even have like a break room here. <laughs> Take a look here. Look at that. Whoa, guys. Oh, almost dropped it there. Whoa. Almost had a man down here. <laughs> Beautiful balloons. There you go. There you go. Yeah, don't inhale one of these balloons. Yeah, there, those are, you want to get the yeah, balloons off there. there. Get there that out of the way there. I, I, I didn't bring forks, so okay. All right. There's no yeah, need for yeah, forks. Yeah. We're all fresh here. So. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, we don't need a break room for this. Oh, so you guys have been in Pittsburgh <clears throat> how long? Oh god, I don't even know. Um, uh, I think we're almost at 10 years now. Yeah, really? we're over 10. Yeah. It doesn't really seem like it, but I don't know. We grew up. Hey, this cake is good. It really <laughs> is good. You know? What's the morning ritual here? What time do you get here? Um, I usually get here first, right around 4.30. Bob follows shortly after that, and then... Mm -hmm. uh, there's not really a ritual. I don't know. I just, <laughs> I'm usually in the studio first, so I'll start, you know, getting our show together and everything. And Bob will be down in our office putting some, you know, audio and stuff we need together. And a lot of times we don't even see each other or talk before 6 a.m. Which then, makes like, it better. Right? Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. It definitely does. So, you know, we don't have like a producer or any interns or anything like that to, um, to kind of help us, so it's uh, okay. it's just it's us. You. It's, it's just you. us, yeah. But you guys are on like 24 hours. I mean, you know, you go home from here. I see you at 11 o'clock. There's not much sleep. About penguin games. And yeah. All that kind of, is it like kind of the oath, uh, kind of the anthem of you'll sleep when you're dead kind of thing? Uh, what's the deal there? Yeah, pretty much, I guess. I mean, we just kind of got used to not sleeping. We sleep maybe. If I get four hours a night, it's like Jesus, a, really? Yeah, it's like a big yeah, night. True. Now, you guys are parents now, so yeah. here's my thing is like when you go out like your kid's soccer game or they go, oh, that's Mikey and Big Bob. Bob's going to take off his shirt and juggle <laughs> his boobies, and Mikey's going to fart in somebody's face while we're here. I mean, what, what happens? Or do the parents go, oh, no, they're just normal. Do they go, F be funny, monkey boy? You know? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we've had every bit of that across, <laughs> well, you know, like, but yeah, when I first, I moved, I think, into my neighborhood I'm living in right now, probably like five years ago. And none of my neighbors were talking to me or anything like that. And then my neighbor started talking to my wife and was just like, you know, nobody was saying hi to us or anything we moved in. I was like, that's kind of weird. And my neighbor's talking <laughs> to my wife out one day. And he's just like, yeah, everybody's talking about this like crazy radio DJ that just moved to town. He's like, I, I or moved in the area. I don't know like where he lives or anything like that. And she's just like, that's, that's my husband. <laughs> it's just like, oh, and it's just like, yeah, people think like, you know, we go home and shoot bottle rockets out of our ass or something like that. And she's like, nope, we're just normal people. We just, you know, we only have a fun a, job. But... Only on special occasions do the bottle rockets come out of the ass. Well, there yeah. you go. Well, and I can imagine it. Yeah, I can imagine it's a sight that's beholden. It is. It really yeah, is. It's a, so, it's a deserves, celebration. It's a sight that deserves cake is what it is. <laughs> Cake, I love cake. I heard if you eat like five of these cakes in one sitting, you can actually shoot a bottle rocket out of your ass. So we're on our way. So do you go to family functions or, or kids' school functions and then people can just go, hey, Mikey, say something funny. Say something funny. Bobby, Bob, say something funny. <laughs> a lot of times people just bring up something on the show. Oh, okay. And they'll be like... Do, um, the, do the Oprah voice. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or like, yeah. you know, do, do Kim Kardashian. Like, eh. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Show me a picture of Eileen from Blown Off. Something like that, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah, we get that a lot. Too. Do, it'll, yeah. it'll be requests like yeah, that, though. That's yeah. Funny. Or they'll tell us, you know, something they, they heard on the show or, or something like that, you know. But yeah, it's cool. It's all love. You know, we don't get creeped out like that. Like, a lot of times people. I mean, me and Bob are intimidatingly sized. You know, I'm like six foot eight. Bob's, <laughs> you know, 350 or something like that. 
So we're awkwardly shaped, which I think already intimidates people, but then a lot of people are always like, you know, scared to come up and talk to us or something like that, but I swear, we are just the norm most normal guys. No, no, but you, you've done so much good, you know, you, you know the status that you have and you know you can tweak people into doing good things, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, Stuff the Boss is definitely our, our biggest yeah. thing we do, collecting toys for the Toys for Tots, but you know, it's like our easiest week all year, because we honestly sit in the parking lot and people bring us toys, yeah. it's, it's mm. an amazing thing. Yeah, what's your favorite so memory so far being in Pittsburgh? I, I think a lot of the work we've done with the penguins. Yeah. Like that's some of my favorite stuff, like hosting the big screen and you know, just having like kind of the access we do with, with the penguins. They've done, they've been free so... show penguin sections are just yeah, oh, yeah. It's insane. amazing. Yeah. Like when I tried to tell anybody from out of town, be like, yeah, the penguins gave us and our listeners a whole section in the lower bowl for a playoff game, a yeah. hundred tickets. They're like, <laughs> are, are you serious? Yeah. You know? So yeah, a lot of stuff we do with the Penguins is some of the, the coolest stuff, you know. Well, listen, I appreciate you guys letting us come in. I appreciate you staying up. It's almost noon, which is like 8 o'clock. Oh, your time. Yeah. hold on. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Oh. What? You brought the cake. We have okay. paint your knife. Uh, you get a little on the nose there. Uh -huh. There it's you go. A little mustache. There you go. A little frosting mustache. How you like that? You jag off! Oh, <laughs>